It's Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Hannah Hall. And I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your KWHS News. Before we jump into our announcements, let's head over to the cafeteria to find out what's on the menu for today and tomorrow. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Today we're going to have beef shepherd's pie. Hope you come down and join us. I know you like it. So, And then on Thursday, we're going to have a meatball sub. Hey, again, come on down and see us. Thanks. And don't forget to pay your charges. You have to have all them charges paid before Christmas break. Thanks, and have a great one. Bye-bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, the semester is almost over, but Miss Betsy can still process your free and reduced lunch forms, so get them in as soon as possible. Please remember to keep adding money to your accounts. Students, if you have not turned in a blue federal impact aid form to the attendance office, you must do so as soon as possible. It is imperative we have one turned in for each student. Please get them signed and back to the attendance office immediately. Glads, yearbook prices are going up on December 11th to $65. Be sure to order your yearbook now while the price is still only $55. Juniors and seniors, college visits are winding down for the semester and on Tuesday, December 5th, the representatives from Johnson and Wales will be here. Seniors, listen up. Herf Jones will be here on Friday, December 8th at lunch to help you order your graduation announcements. This is the deadline for announcement orders. They will also place your class ring and cap and gown orders at this time. Remember, the deadline for those orders is December 21st. If you are interested in the construction technology or cabinet manufacturing courses for next school year, please see Ms. Christensen in the Counseling Center to sign up for a visit to the mill on December 8th. And finally, one of the first colleges to schedule visits in 2018 is Lamar Community College on February 18th. As always, swing by the Counseling Center to pick up your hall pass to attend the college visit. When we come back, we'll have holiday festivities and audition callback information. But first, we're throwing it to John Christopherson for our Gladiator Sports Update. It's Wednesday, Glads, and I'm John Christofferson with your Gladiator Sports Update. First, let's give a shout out to Student Cabinet for hosting a great gents tourney before the break. Congratulations to Team BC who managed to beat out the bad hombres. Way to go, Team BC. Our winter sports teams kick off their seasons this Thursday, starting with the Lady Glads basketball team. Our Lady Glad basketball team is at home this Thursday against the Lewis Palmer Rangers, and we hear our ladies got game. Come out and watch our Lady Glads take to the hoop at 6.30 in Bowers Gym. The wrestling team starts its season this Friday at TCA. The match starts at 4 if you want to watch the Glads dominate the mats. Also on Friday, our Grizzly Aider swim team jumps in the pool at 4 as they host the Fountain Valley Danes. Go get those dogs. The forensics team traveled to Discovery Canyon campus before the break and came back with some great results. Fiona Cowgers and Josh Smith placed sixth in duo, Kiara Lee placed third in novice Lincoln-Douglas debate. In program oral interpretation, Lauren Wadsworth placed second. In the humor category, Josh Haar placed fourth and Sydney Monson came in sixth. Fiona Cowgers placed fifth in informative speaking. Nice work, team. Coming up for the forensics team is the Liberty Tournament on Saturday. Hey, Glads. Coach O has been nominated for Papa John's Coach of the Month, but he needs our help. Go to the Papa John's Facebook page to vote for Coach O. If he wins, Papa John's Pizza will donate $250 to the WHS football program. Here's the website address. Scroll down to the November 21st entry to vote. Go Coach O. And finally, stay tuned for Doc on Friday when she will talk about hydration. Good luck to all our sports teams this week. That's it for our sports update. Have a great Wednesday. We'll have scores and upcoming games and matches on Friday. I'm John Christofferson. Now back to you, Hannah and Ethan. Thanks, John. Glads, the 180 Club is collecting canned goods and non-perishable foods to be included in their Christmas baskets this year. Items such as potatoes, canned veggies, cereal, and box desserts are welcomed. Last year, the 180 Club distributed baskets to 30 WHS families and would like to exceed that number this year. Bring your donations to any teacher in the math department. Donations will be collected until December 8th. If you can help, please do it. It's time for some shout outs for our amazing teachers. Check it out. Hi, my name is Kayla Johnston, and my name is Power Ticket goes to Mrs. Moline because whenever we need help, she'll always help us out. Hi, my name is Kyle Stockhouse. 
my reverse power ticket goes to Mr. Cummings because he's a good teacher and he's awesome for me to be in his class for and I really like being in his class. My name is Rosie Rivera and my reverse power ticket goes to Ms. Dykes. Thank you so much for being my teacher. You can be mean sometimes but you are amazing and very helpful being in your class. Thank you for being here for us. I can always come up to you and ask you what do you want me to be able can I be able to help are you you are funny and awesome remember GLADS you fill out the cards and we do the rest GLADS starting on Monday December 4th and going until Wednesday December 20th bring an unwrapped new or gently used toys to be distributed to families in the WSD3 area and now, here are your club and activities updates for Wednesday and Thursday. Student Union is open in the library every afternoon from 3 to 4.15. Be sure you have a sticker on your ID. The 180 Club meets in room 5 at lunch with Mr. Sickmiller. DECA and FBLA meet at lunch in lab 159. For those of you who enjoy tabletop games, that club meets this afternoon in room 160 from 3 to 5. Thursday meetings start with freshman, junior, and senior councils at lunch. Freshman council meets in room 2, junior council meets in room 166, while the senior council currently meets in room 101. Book club also meets every other Thursday at lunch in the library in the magazine room. The pop orchestra meets in room 750 after school on Thursdays from 3 to 5. Mr. Nell hosts the Cyber Patriot Club on Thursdays at 3 p.m. in his room. And the Robotics Club meets in room 160 from 3 to 5 on Thursdays. Glad. Hate to break this to you, but final exams are just around the corner, and NHS is offering free tutoring sessions every Thursday during advisory. Sign up in the library on Thursday mornings. Remember, on Thursdays, the library is only available for computer use and tutoring. If you audition for the Spring Musical, callbacks will be posted today after school starting at 3. To all who auditioned, break a leg. Glads, want something festive to do to get you in the holiday spirit? The Whitefield Parks and Rec office is holding its 12th annual holiday tree lighting celebration. Fun happens at the Whitefield Parks and Rec building on Tuesday, December 5th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Come enjoy caroling, crafts, s'mores, hot cocoa, hay rides, and holiday shopping. Heck, even Santa will be there. You can also donate non-perishable food items, unwrap new, or gently used toys and coats. Kickstart your holiday spirit with some holiday fun. Finally, seniors, the senior class is hosting a movie night on Friday at 6.30 in the small gym. Come enjoy Elf with their classmates. It's free to watch. There will be drinks and snacks available for a small fee. That's all for our news today. Have a great Wednesday. I'm Hannah Hall. And I'm Ethan Simon, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great rest of the week.